Floods are one of the most powerful, deadly, and destructive natural disasters. There are a number of relatively inexpensive steps you can take to protect your home and property before a flood strikes. If you are building or retrofitting your home, consider these recommendations. Wet floodproofing allows flood water to flow through the structure. An example of wet floodproofing is installing flood vents that create permanent openings in the foundation. Dry flood proofing prevents flood waters from entering the building. An example of dry flood proofing is installing new brick veneer over asphalt coating and applying polyethylene film over existing walls. Construct non-supporting breakaway walls designed to collapse under the force of water without causing damage to the foundation. One of the most important things you can do to financially protect your family before a flood is to purchase a federal flood insurance policy. But don't wait until a flood is coming. It normally takes 30 days after purchase for flood insurance to go into effect. And remember, most homeowners insurance does not cover damage due to flooding. Visit FloodSmart.gov for more information about flood insurance. Consider these additional recommendations to protect your home from flood damage. Some are simple and inexpensive, others require a professional contractor. Locate the main electric panel and elevate all electric outlets, switches, light sockets, baseboard heaters and wiring at least 12 inches above the projected base flood elevation. In areas that could get wet, connect all receptacles to a GFI circuit to avoid the risk of shock or electrocution. Have electrical wiring done by a licensed electrician. Elevate the furnace, water heater, washer and dryer, outside air conditioning compressor, heat pump or package unit at least 12 inches on a base of masonry, concrete or pressure treated lumber. Anchor fuel tank securely to the floor or ground. Make sure vents and fill line openings are above the base flood elevation. Install a floating floor drain plug in the floor drain. If the floor drain line backs up, the float will rise and plug the drain. Also have a licensed plumber install an interior or exterior backflow valve in the main sanitary sewer line to prevent flood water causing sewage to back up and enter your home. For more information about protecting your home from disaster, visit www.flash.org today.